Hello, welcome again to our channel. In one of our previous video, there's a comment about how to design a tray for pliers and tools. So here we are. This is the design that we are going to make today. So as usual, we'll start from scratch. We'll click here, file, new design. And for this one, we are going to make the tray size 200 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So I will press V first. So we'll have this top view and then zoom out a little. And now I will click this one, the rectangle. And then now we'll make a rectangle with 100 millimeters wide and 200 millimeters high. Okay, like this. And then after that, I will zoom a little okay and I will click this one the offset curve and we will double click here and then we will add thickness two millimeters okay like this and then after that we will make the separator or the lines in between the slot for the pliers and tools and to do that I will click this one select and then I will click one of this line okay the outer one and then press control and then click this one next beside this line okay so I have two lines selected right now there are two lines with green highlight and we will copy this to make separators to the right so to do that I will click this one move okay and then click this one create patterns and then i'm going to move this arrow so wait a moment let me zoom a little okay so we will move by clicking this arrow and move to the right and because the total size is 100 millimeters and the thickness is two millimeters i will type in here 98 okay and then i will press tab and then press again the tab button on the keyboard and now it asks for input for the count so for this one i will make total five slots so the number of the walls will be six i type in six and then press enter so this is how it looks like of course this is not the ideal uh, look as uh, this line is longer than this one but it will work if you want to make a more precise lines then you can uh, add some additional rectangle here so you can copy the line that's exactly will touch this line but this will also works okay now let's zoom out and this is going to be the basic shape and I will click this one 3d mode or you can also press D on the keyboard okay now we have this basic shape and we will extrude this to become a tray and to do that first we will select all the walls and separators so to do that first i will click here and double click so we will select all the surfaces and then i press control on my keyboard and i will deselect the surface that i don't need so i will click this one this one and okay so we only select the walls and then I click this one pull and extrude let's say 40 millimeters okay now we have this shape and next we will add the floor for this tray so to do that I will click here or I can also click this one the surface that's remaining it will select all the remaining surface and we click pull okay it's still active and click this one add just to make sure and then pull up extrude by two millimeters so now it will become like this next we will add a cut out from the side to make it easy to access the tools so you can pick it with your fingers so to do that I will click here and then I'll press V on my keyboard so we have this view and then I press K or you can also click this one sketch mode okay like this next I will click this one line and then start from here 
and we are going to put 75 millimeters here and then after that I will click this one circle and I'm using that point as a center for the circle so I'm going to type in 70 millimeters as the diameter like this and then after that um, we will use this circle to cut the separators but we will also add some curve at the sides so to do that I will zoom in and then we are going to use this one the tangent arc and I'm clicking this one okay and then we are going to let's say start from here and then I'm going to uh, click here so okay like this and also again from this point to the right so I have this shape now and then after that I can click this one 3d mode and we have this uh, shape right now we have these surfaces that we can use to cut so I'll just click this one first select and then press control click here and then here and also this one okay and then click pull and then click this one cut to make sure that it will cut out the uh, solid like this okay now I'm clicking this one home and that's the shape that we have just made a little different from the first example but it's okay you can design uh, with the dimension that you want and then after that I will click this one the circle it's not used anymore so I will press delete and um, after this we will add some finishing touch so first we will make some rounds at the corners of these walls so we need to click one by one I just press control on my keyboard and click one by one and then click this one pull and then I will add two millimeters round edge okay here also same thing and then I will also add same thing here so I double click here and we'll have this all the corners of the floor for each slot I press control and do the same thing to the other slot okay and then pull and add two millimeters like this and of course these corners will be better if we also make it more round so okay I'll make it four millimeters round okay and that's it uh, sorry you can also add some uh, rounded edge for this top side so pull let's say 0 0.4 here and also for the inner side oh, sorry double click here press control double click also at the other lines necessary and then pull type in 0 0.4 and that's it now we have the tray with our own specification you can adjust the width of each slot based on what you need also the size length width height as you want and that's all I will share this design on cuts 3d for the STL file and also the design spark mechanical file you can use it and you can adjust as needed that's all for now stay safe have fun see you again in the next video bye